Got him. There's fish. All right, taking my coworkers fishing today. Gonna try to gonna try to get this going. Try to get everybody a fish on. Um, I'm gonna call this one a fishing guide challenge. All right, everybody. I'm not gonna lie. I did not do a great job of narrating exactly what I was gonna be doing here. So we've got a uh, Brandy right there. We've got Sophie right there. Uh, both using some different types of silver inline spinners, Panther Martin and Rooster Tail. And I'm just throwing out a little bit of bait here to see what happens. Spoiler alert: the bait does nothing. I'm trying to send them to some good spots, thinking of what will be good. We're kind of getting towards the end of the crazy heat we're fishing pretty well in the morning to Anywhere see what we can get out of here and i'm trying to point out you know where they're casting some good habitat you know where some of these bass will be laying or even some bluegill and pretty much just happy with just about anything we can get on so i'm trying to guide everybody into whatever they need to be doing So even though I have everybody pretty well spread out alongside this bank trying to do our best, I definitely try to get a little bit of my own fishing in. Because I figure my whole goal here is to get everybody a single fish on. And, you know, a single fish is all I can even hope for at this point. The bites have been incredibly slow for me, so, you know, I'm pretty happy when all of a sudden I start getting a couple bites here and then I try to get everybody to fish in this lower, deeper water that's right around this spillway system. So we end up having a little bit of luck here. I got fish. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, yep. Got him. Oh, he's a nice little largey. Hey, buddy. We got him. Got one on the board. The classic veto fishing drop. All right. He's looking good. Let's see, you, buddy. One on. One on. Fish on. Hi, Brandy. Oh, did he spit it? Uh, yeah, he did. Ah. Uh. Gotta yell. I didn't even know it was actually a fish at first. You have to scream fish on. Do I? That's yeah. And this right here is one of the most annoying parts about fishing, but it happens to all of us because with the most dangerous casts comes some of the most productive casts. Yep. And I know that Brandy here accidentally, you know, swung it right around that yeah, spillway system right there. The and we try to get there it off a go. little bit. And, you know, we ended up having to just kind of well, you play got with a monster it, try to, on. you know, get it off. But it, it doesn't work out so well. So, you know, it's just part of the fishing experience. You lose some lures. That's why you have a tackle box. That's why you bring a bunch of different lures with you, a bunch of different baits. And yeah. when I'll you have to break quick. something off, you have to break something off. No big deal. Like I said, with some of the most dangerous casts, you end up just having to get some of the best bites. And sometimes you lose your lure. It is what it is. <laughs> uh, hold up. All right. Hold up. It was on a fish. Woo! That is a nice bass. It is. Nice. Poor guy. He won't hurt you. All right, so that's a nice guy. Check him out. Yeah, Miss Fry. You can show your kids this video. That won't terrorize them. <laughs> so, holding a large mouth. Lip him, grab him by the lip. Oh, if I can get my feet on the rocks. Okay. Hold it, pinch. Pinch. Oh, hi, Juice. Can you go back in the water? Yep. All right. Nicely done. Have a good day. Woo! Fish on!
The bite's turning on, guys. Fish on. I'm coming. You got him. Coming. Now at this point, everybody caught a fish, so I was incredibly happy that we are having a successful day. We'll take any type of fish here. The hardest thing about some of these bluegill is the fact that unless you don't have hemostats or some kind of needle nose pliers, it is hard to get those out with just your fingers because you. they don't have that large mouth that like a uh, small mouth or a large mouth bass will have. So you do need some hemostats oh, to get in counts. there and That's get those treble hooks oh, out. Geez. So we got this guy rocking and rolling. Looks absolutely fantastic and really, really nice size bluegills. Miss McRoberts catching a fish. Let's see, buddy. Whoa. Hey. We catch anything we can here on Vito Fishing Stories. At this point in the morning, I'm incredibly happy. Everybody's caught at least one fish. Uh, Brandy caught two bluegills, Sophie caught a bass, and I got a couple on. So pretty much at this point, I'm just kind of working up and down the bank, letting the ladies do their things. They seem to figure everything out as far as the casting goes, as far as taking care of the fish goes. Also, I think they lost their shoes at around this point, saying their feet were getting sweaty. So they just took their shoes off and started walking around barefoot, and honestly, I can't blame them. So here we go. Get a couple more bass on, a couple more bluegill. Enjoy the rest of these caches. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe. Enjoy the rest of these caches. Got him. All right, buddy. All right, buddy. Very cool. See ya. Got him. I'm coming. I think my pants are falling down. Everything. Hey. Kill. Do you need help getting it? Got it? All right. Drag him on in. All right. We got him. This one is a nice one. Woo, doggy. All right. Beautiful, beautiful bass. We'll see you later, buddy. It was nice. I was hoping he was gonna surface hard and jump, but it's possible. It's, uh, let's bring it by these. There's a fish. What do we have? What do we have? Hey, he's a little, little, little large mouth. All right, little guy on the board, dude. We'll take you. 
nice hookup. Very neat. See you, buddy. Have a wonderful day.